have you been? So this is not I, I like I've been streaming like every day and you guys haven't been here. It's definitely not the other way around of I haven't been here. Oh my gosh. Um Yeah. So what a wonderful world we live in. Uh I am streaming. Arcade Dungeon. Why is it it's supposed to be Masters I Bought? Man, it changes every single time I do this. And I have to fix it. Of course, you know, I wait forever to uh, do all my settings. And so I freaking... Mm. Anyway, uh, custom bot name. Let's do that. Custom bot name. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh, I can't scroll. I can't scroll. Change to Arcade Dungeon. No. Change to Master's iBot. That's my bot name. All right. Should be okay, right? I think. What if it changes the name of my thing? Oh, I don't care. All right. Well, let's just not worry about it right now. Always something. Um, yeah, it, it has been a crazy few, well, probably a month, right? So I'm like not even touching Stargate. It's been like sitting there, not being worked on because I've had so much work to do in the restaurant that I've had to take this time to, uh, work on all that stuff. Um, and then everything that I'm trying to work on, everything I'm trying to fix, or anything that I have been fixing has just been giving me crap. So high speed is still not working in the arcade. The freaking game keeps resetting, keeps blowing fuses. I've tried every single thread on pin side. It's one more thing I got to try. Um, man, it is so frustrating. And then the other what, last week or whatever, Haunted House started giving me crap. Flipper uh, in the middle play field, upper right flipper of the middle play field. I know, there's like eight flippers. Got locked on on Saturday night, which is not a night that I run the arcade. It's a night that Brent does. And I came in to, to check on him, and he said, Hey, have you ever seen a flipper doing this? And he looked. And I, you know, and I looked and I saw it was on. I'm like, dude, don't leave it on. And I turned it off and yeah, that coil got fried. That coil burnt up. Um, it's, it's, it sucks. You know, th these games are pretty old. It sucks that uh, as much as you want to recognize the big problems, like if you see something stuck on a coil in the pop bumper or flipper, or obviously, um, sometimes you can't hear it because of all the other sounds and you're just, it just happens. But if you see a coil locked on, turn off the game. Just turn it off. Uh, I don't know why it's locked on. Doesn't matter why. Turn off the game. So, yeah, we burnt up the coil. This was, this was the coil that was in it. It got all burned up and coil sleeve was all jacked in there. Um, so, why did that happen? Well, it happened because I didn't listen to my gut. Mm. When we were working on Haunted House, we went through and we cleaned everything. We cleaned all the parts, but we did not change out all the flipper parts because Brent was saying they felt good, that he's like, they're, they're fine. We don't have to spend the money on the flipper parts, they're fine. Always do it. Always redo your flippers. So, we are stuck here today. And I don't know how many I'm going to get done. There are eight flippers. And I got eight flipper kits. For a grand total of $225 for these flipper kits. Let's see if this camera gets closer. So, we're over here. So, today... I don't know if I'm going to get all eight done. I'm going to try to get all eight done. Um, but if time gets away from me and I'm just like, you know what, screw this. 
yeah, we may stop. So let's, we're going to unbox these. Strange unboxing video, but it's, it is necessary. So we have, I just want to have them all out and ready, at least one kit at a time to do two at a time. So your kits are going to come with, uh, sorry that the blocking, come with new endostroke switches, new coil sleeves, new coil stops, and new plungers, new, what are these guys called, bushings, are those bushings? Which we found out that some Williams kits don't come with those, so be prepared, be, be absolutely sure you know what the kit comes with. So these are the big major parts, and then we have in here our screws and our springs. So brand new springs, brand new uh, pressure, whatever these springy washer things are, and then the screws to screw them all in. Um, and we'll start comparing between, I, I had to take a coil off of one of the other flippers. So this is a one from the other haunted house that we had where we had to take the coil off. And I will show you, if I can, real quick. We'll just look real quick. Now, and I wanted to do it. I say this, but I wanted to do it um, when uh, I got it, or when it was an issue, when we got the game. But we didn't want to spend all that money. We'd already spent a ton of cash on the game. So this is not the one that we're that is in the machines right now. This is just the spare one that I had to steal the coil off of because we burned it up. But I'm going to take this off real quick. We're just going to look at this. So for one, how do you know that they are old besides the dirt? Well, the old ones are kind of a jade color too. So the original ones have this jade color. That means that these have never been replaced. Um, Remember, this is not from the one that we worked on, so ours are a lot cleaner. They're just this. And then you get all this. So you're going to be reusing this part on here. And then this piece, these need to be tapped out on these ones. But let's get looking at the plungers here real quick. So our plunger, we have a white one and we have a green one. Or jade one, because it sounds better to say jade. What happens after 40 years of hitting a flipper is that you got all that gunk in there. All that's going on. So obviously clean. But here this stop or this plunger is concave. I don't know if you can really see. It's concave because of how many times... It hit the coil slot stop throughout the years. And you also got burrs around the edge. All sorts of stuff going on. So we have to replace all that. The things that I hate about these ones are these freaking pins. I hate trying to get these stupid pins out. But you got to do what you got to do, right? And we got to do a lot of them. So we're going to swing the camera around here and I'm going to show, take a, take the glass off of Haunted House. It's still in the lineup. Take the glass off of Haunted House and we'll try to see what was going on here. See if I, I don't really want to have to move the entire machine because then I have to move Stargate, but you know, we'll do what we got to do. It doesn't matter. It's just got to get done. Eight, eight games or eight flippers to get there. It's over here. Behind the wall, there's Haunted House behind the wall. And excuse me if I, you know, at some point I'm going to probably just stop talking and just get the work done. But feel free to chat if you want to keep me company. Um, I'm not looking for advice today. I'm just looking if people want to hang out. Oh, it sucks. It sucks because you got to go back. And these are not the right keys. I gotta get the right keys. I don't, I'm definitely not gonna get all eight flippers done in an hour, I can tell you that. Also, this coin slot was just giving me crap, so I just covered it up for now because there's only so much you can work on. Scott, 
three cold shots. That sound was loud. Very carefully put our whatchamadilly down on the, uh, our glass down on a mat. All right. I don't want to have to pull this game out. I might have to pull it out. I'm going to take this hat off and get some light. Get some lights going on. But, yeah. So how's everybody's indigenous Columbus whatever day going? Where's the ball? Is it downstairs? The ball went, Bobby. Well, we gotta find the ball. The ball is somewhere. Somewhere in here. sits pretty high. But where did the ball go? Pretty sure that uh, there should be a ball. Alright, I need a hand truck. I don't know if this one gets up high enough. in here somewhere. topper in here that uh, we put on it which is a uh, strangely enough a haunted house all right now that I found the ball this was the one that was burning up on us so we got one two three four five six seven eight let's go one at a time let me get a soldering iron started I may just do a few of these today, and then uh, tomorrow night when I have to work after work, do a few more. <sighs> Let me get all sticky. Get all sticky. Let me see if I can zoom this one in. We're going to do that one first. That was our big problem child anyway. But we're going to do all of them, but we're going to start with this one. Also, my end of strokes, which is, we're, I don't know if they were gapped well enough. I don't think they were, so I had to re-gap them. I always start by taking a photo to know how to put the wires back on. Don't want to screw that up, although I should still have that photo. 
And while that's heating up, I can take off Take off the bat anyway. Can you fix your bat? Remember what we learned about these uh, haunted house and black hole when you're switching them to LEDs is that these eight underneath the play field in the middle are not six volt. They are 20, what is it, 28 volts? Yeah, 28 volts. So you have to get special LEDs. They don't have them in different colors. They just have white. But make sure you get the 28 volt because we found out the hard way that they were uh, they were burning up our LEDs, catching little fires. All right, let's see if we ever get the bat off. Come here, bat. Come here, bat. Oh, it's under the plastic. bat off. Not, not bat at all. I'm going to set it inside here so we don't lose it. Alright, now we should be hot enough. Let me get a towel. Don't forget your towel! You don't want to drop any solder where it doesn't belong. I did replace this coil the other day before it still gave me problems is uh, I did have a, a new diode put on it and now for the worst part flathead screws I hate flatheads Also might need some sort of stool because I'm kind of short. Let me get something to stand on. Or not. There's got to be a crate around here somewhere. Oh, that's that's just crate. If you were with us when we unboxed our dead tool. Um, I tried to go through absolutely everything you're supposed to do before you play the game. And silly me, I forgot to check the screws on the top. So the first weekend, we had one of the plastics started to come off because the screws were loose. But luckily, I got it real quick. Saved the, found the screw, put it back on. But that's another thing. Make sure all the screws are tight on your brand new pinball machine. And when I was playing Jurassic Park, which I still haven't checked, I heard a clunk. I don't know what the clunk was, but I heard a clunk. But nothing seemed to be uh, stopped working. Hey, look, one of these is a freaking Phillips. Did I do that? I have a feeling I might have done that. Phillips. Wilson Phillips, 
John Philip Souza. Time. Eight to go. Get this out of here and down so it gets through. All right. going with this we're going right down here flipper flipper I mean you'll get the gist of this we don't have to do all eight on stream because hey I think it's exciting but what does the world think there we go and I don't know if I can tap it out here I'm gonna have, might have to go tap it out Device. All right. I'm going to unplug my soldering iron over here so I don't burn anything. Don't forget the soldering iron because you might burn yourself up. Okay. Another kit out of the way. Put all the old stuff in the bag because you never know. Some of this you probably could use again. Some of these, some of these parts aren't as worn. All right. Definitely have to reuse these screws. I have. There we go. There's my other thread lock. I was like, I was going to say, I better have some thread lock nearby. All right. We're going to do this. Here we go. Let me make it. Uh, let me make it so ever so more ASMR for people, whoever want it to be here. Just a second. Turn that buzzing out. Do 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 do. bag. Making loud noises. Ruin it. You're ruining it. Sorry, things are just in the way of what I want to do here. Hold on. I gotta move things. Wires are not cooperating. There we go. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's clearly not a good shot. All right. Now I think I got it. I think I got it. Do, do, do. Ooh, wrong way. screws can be reused. They're okay, just need to be thread locked. Old coil 
it'll stop and spring. coil stop. It's seen a, I mean if this is to be compared as exactly how they were to how they are. Uh, let's go over here. Focus on that guy. Focus on that. Focus. Focus. Anyway. You can see the difference. New ones on the right, old ones on the left. It's it's been pounded pounded down over the years. likely never going to use that old coil stop again, but I just save it anyway. All right, let's take this off. Um, we're going to take wires off of here. Ugh, I need a new soldering station. Definitely need some new tips. Work with what you got. Don't forget your towel. There we go. All right, you sit over here for now because you're going to come back into play. off. Squeaky, squeaky. Some of these had thread lock on them. Oh wait, I did that, didn't I? Didn't I? Come on. Come on guys. Springs and such. There we go. Now we're freeing up all this crap. That can stay on. This needs to come out. Into the bag of old stuff. Springs into the bag of old stuff. All right, this spring probably is perfectly fine. We're taking it off anyway. Okay. And these guys.
the screws, save the uh, spring, spring plate thing, and this guy goes away. Oh, look at the difference in those. So pretty, so dirty, pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty. All right, let's. Get my little alcohol cup. I'll try not to knock it over. I tend to knock this freaking cup of alcohol over. I don't know why. I'm just prone to do it. I need a hat. It shouldn't be that dirty because, well, we just cleaned them recently. All right, so I need to get this guy out. That requires a tap. And my taps are over here. Is this the right one? That might work. Let's see if I got a slightly bigger one. Only slightly. That'll work better. And then gotta find a nice flat surface to do this on. It's not my desk. Let me see here. This is like I said, this is the part that I hate. I hate the freaking taps. This one. I'm gonna see I've got a crate down here on the floor. I'm gonna see if I can do it that right here. If not, I have to go over to my vice and do it. I'm just gonna squat down here and see if I can do it down here. So You'll hear a bunch of banging. It's kind of working. Kind of working. Just gotta get it low enough here. Mm. Well, I got it flush. Still gotta go a little bit more. Not quite. Eh, eh, yeah. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Getting there. Almost. Once I get below enough that I don't have my tap bouncing all over the place, hopefully it goes a little bit smoother here. You just don't want to go through all the way. You just want to get it enough so that the link comes out. All right, we're past the first part. I still got to get 
through the other side. But at least it's there. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too much bounce back on this. Give me just a second. I needed to be a little bit more stable than a uh, than a crate. All right, so at least to get it out of here. But you want to keep remember keep your orientation here. So I have this uh, Allen wrench key thing, and the plunger is going that way. So we take the old one out, clean the bejesus out of that thing, which we did in the past, but now that link is out we can do it even better and just you really just don't want to get the pin out both sides because that's just not fun to put back in More on the other side. There we go. I think that's good, right? I think I got it. All right, so. I have to remember my orientation here. That's going that way. And then, new one. I mean, let's, let's take this out while we're... Oh, well, we'll look at the old one. We'll look at the other one. Alright. So we get it all lined back up in the right way. So I remember that this was over here. Plunger's going the other way. And then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to tap it back in. So I'm going to go back to the vise real quick and tap this back in. The thing I didn't want to happen happened. The compression spring popped out. So I need some more light. Where's my light? And I kind of need that hammer. Kind of important to have the hammer.
hammer everything all over this land. All right, I'm just go back here. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Come on, you. Don't be a tonk. Bars. That's why I gotta tap it back down. Ugh. Have I mentioned I hate these? I don't think I've mentioned it in the last 10 minutes. But I hate these. Alright, there. Now you back in like this. Come on. Or not. I didn't get it far enough. It has to be absolutely flush because, you know, reasons. Well, it's really flush now. So flush, it went out the other side. Again! I hate these. I hate these pins. You have another way to do this because I don't. Also, don't hit the top one because <laughs> now you bend the freaking thing. I got it though. I got it. Spares too. It's a long day, guys. It's a freaking long ass day. I shouldn't be allowed to do anything right now. Ghetto, 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 ghetto. Ghetto, 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 ghetto. All right, give me a second again.
It's just one of those days. Just one of those days. Some point I'll get it working. There we go. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get all that goo out of there. Minus goo. start going in here without without causing too much of a problem also I need to do it the right way <laughs> right orientation is going to matter that matters Just go straight. Don't be a punk. Don't be a punk. I hate these stupid things. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. If I can squeeze it. Let's go right there, bud. All right. <laughs> How long does it take to change the flipper out? Uh, ten times as long with the co freaking compression spring thing. bouncing around. Yeah, let's just, everything needs to fall. That, that will help. That's helping the situation. At least I got it in there. Now let me just tap it back in. Two months later, I finally got it back in. Of course, now it's freaking bending again. Got to pry it out a little bit. <sighs> These suck, by the way. These, like, really, really, really suck. freaking movement that I'm supposed to have. Stay loose. Stay loose. Don't forget your goose. Yeah, so when you're pounding it in, this metal starts to want to bend here too, so that's always fun. The block is supposed to help. Anyway, it's in there. It's wiggly. We can put it back together. But then again, there's the old one and the new one. They're just, yeah, this one's concave. 
like way concave. Why am I saving it? Cause, just cause. Still feel a little. I did it right. Oh, let's get the grease off of it. And hold on a second. Let me see here. Alright. I don't know guys, I think I'm just tired of it. Tired of it, tired of it. switch ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. and kind of tight but not all the way tight so we get all the parts in together all right I think we got a tall one and a short one so these are slightly different one's a little bit thicker than the other one a little bit thicker one I believe has to go through the bottom Gonna go this way. Right? Yeah. Okay. Biggers, thickers. Probably should have put that on before I put the end of stroke switch on there, but it's okay. It fits. If it fits, it fits. There we go. And then put this stuff on in the right order, and then you won't have any problems. Durber, 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 durber. doing it right, but my brain wasn't. The brain is flabby and weak. There you go. Come here, you. The other one was so tight in there, this one just falls out. Come here. All right, let's put these screws back in. 
One of these screws is not like the other. That one's a little short one. ones should probably get thread locked thread lock thread lock thread lock thread lock thread lock thread lock Theory, they should all fit like a glove, but actually fits, and you don't have to equip it. There we go. Go. Sit there for now and coil. Look, this wire does not feel very good. I don't think it's actually attached, but we'll we will remedy that problem. This is a new coil sleeve I put in just the other day, so other than a little swabbing, we're just gonna reuse it. Get these springs, spring washer thingies. Go there, go there, and then oh, forgot to put one of these up. Oopies. There we go. There, new coil stop. Right there, and I can reuse the old ones. Sometimes they're missing, you know. That's you, you got them in the kit, but sometimes they're missing. But these ones aren't missing. They're right here. Those ones are a little bit longer though, but I think it'll be all right. redo these uh, end of stroke switch wires um, 
Um, do I have that gauge wire around? Don't. I don't think so. Um, I don't think I. Well, yeah, maybe we need. Maybe we just use these ones again. But I think I want to do it. It's one of these debate things. Where do I have the wire? Oh, I do have wire. I got plenty of wire. I found my wire here. Hold on. There we go. I have some wire. Let's just do that instead. But make sure that we're putting them back on the right spots when we're done. Da -da -da. All my stuff falling off. Thank you, Brent. Pushing all the crap off the table. Okay. All right. So we're on the middle one and the one on this end are our end of stroke wires. We're just gonna redo them. Thank you. Let's see if I can clear out these holes a little bit. Maybe I can use them. bit. Big ass solder sucker. Come here. Come on. Heat it up. Also fun not to have depth perception. Uh, where's my where's that? Here, buddy. Just a tad. All right. Now we're going to get some of this wire. Wire. Roughly the same length as the one that was on here, but we can do a little bit longer just to give a, a little bit of a lead way if ever we had to. Do something again. There we go. Okay. Let's get my ends done. Also help on the end of stroke switch if you use the little hole. Get a little bit more secure. It's kind of it's definitely easier when it's newer. Alright. Try to bend this. Keep it tight and try to bend it so I can get a little hole. Bring that around that way. Let it sit there for a second. Solder, solder, solder. It'll look prettier. Will it function better? Hopefully. It'll be easier if I just turn this on its side. It'll be much easier. But gravity, work with gravity and not against gravity.
trying to get the uh, the switch hot so it sticks. Buddy, come on now. Just be hot. solder went all the way through but it did and then it fell off yeah just stick 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 like the good boy you're supposed to be there you go that's better and uh, don't breathe the solder we should all know that by now. Don't breathe the solder. Make sure your wires aren't too long. Da -da -da -da. Heat up. Feel that it's taking a while because it's a piece of, there we go. There we go. Much better. All right, let me try to do something here real quick. There's those two fairly new wires. These wires were brought to you by an old Neo Geo. All right, so this one I'm going to feed through the back of this, up through there. And this one will go and do the same thing, feed through this side and up through there. Think. I think gravity will be okay. Gravity will be okay. Hopefully. No, let's do it this way. Come here, you. Give me something to prop on. Breathe the solder. Come on. This way, also, when you go to put the other wires back on, these won't fall out. and clean. Much better than before. And just for temporary purposes, let me just put one of these guys in here.
Come on. Get in here. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. I need a spring, too. That would help. Spring. I forgot the spring. Needle, needle, needle. Maybe even needlier needle. Trying to get it without messing it up. Without messing it up. Come on, you. I don't know what that sound was, but it doesn't sound right. Just trying to bend it just enough to get to go over and then into the hole. Into the hole, dude. There we go. Just do that. Just do that. Now, circle around. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole now. Ugh. Stupid spring. Hold on. Oh, that's one side. Jeez, Louiso. All right, now the other side. Problem is I can't really see very well right now. And amongst other things. I don't know why they think sight is important when repairing pinball machines, but apparently it is. There you go. Oh, you little punk, you were on there. Little punk. It's, it's problematic. Oh my gosh, dude, you are so right there. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Get in there. All right, now I'm going to have to get it in and squeeze it a little bit because I think it stretched on the opening. There we go. Now, stay in there. Don't come out. Never again. Come out. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Just try to tighten it just a little. So we don't have any issues. All right. Stupid pin. It's just for slightly testing purposes. Feels good. Feels like it's not a sticky at all. Well, yeah, you know what this means? Only seven more to do. And that's not going to happen today. So it starts to get faster and faster the more you do it, obviously. So by the time I get through, I think the third one, I'll start to get my speed up a little bit. It just did a lot. If anything, let's just set it back in the, where it belongs and uh, get to that point. Somebody tell me where to go now. Hi there, 
haunted house up there. So big, so big. Sometimes uh, when it falls and you don't know where it goes, you're like hours of trying to find that screw. Because I never want to turn it on until I know exactly where the screw is. You can't just be like, oh, it's gone.
Obviously, I gotta do like a crap ton of adjustments. And I have to tighten the flipper. Um, remember, and the stroke switches only come straight, so you'd have to adjust those before you start. Because, like, right now, it's not doing a lot. I don't think I put it in backwards, did I? Did I put the end of stroke switch on backwards? Oh my gosh, whatever. It's a long day. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. And that's where we're going to be. But anyway, yeah, that was my big problem. All that stuff. So I got to do all those. And I'm going to do that later because I haven't even had any lunch today. So wish me luck and I'll give some little updates later. Hopefully uh, high speed will be back in service and the haunted house will be in service and all the things that I hate about this the hobby will be over and back to the fun stuff. Get back to Stargate at some point. Yeah, so seven more flippers to go and I put the end of stroke switch on backwards. I shouldn't be doing this when I'm tired, but I'm tired all the time. But anyway. That's it. That's it for now. We'll uh, work on some other stuff later. Maybe might do some other different things here in the future when we get some more time. But thank you guys for hanging out with me for the little bit of time that it was. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys uh, the next time. Bye.